everyone welcome back to another video and so we are continuing on today with the rest of our playthrough live reaction walkthrough of N Walker so last time we were introduced to the real set trap of Razat Han though we technically already met him before if you don't haven't seen my last video I don't know why you're watching this one if you haven't but in case you haven't seen it then I don't want to spoil it for you but it was it was a really nice surprise. So we were now asked to be able to storm the tower for a way to, the Tower of Zot, basically. We were asked to go in as the, the very tip of the spear, see if we can rescue the hostages trapped inside and just do something about the tower. And of course, we were promised that we would get the warding scales, which would be able to protect our friends from being tempered so they can come with us. And so it, it's a lot to think about, but the science felt that we had to get everyone together and we all have to decide together to before we actually do this. So that's where we are right now. So here we are, we're back in Charlian. We're back at our new temporary headquarters. And the others haven't been kicked out of Charlian yet, so I guess that's a good thing. So the quest is called In the Dark of the Tower. Uh, Kral glances at you with expectant eyes. Since there has been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings from our respective locals? Locales. Oh, that was fast. So let's see what everyone has to make of all this madness. Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. In my opinion, carrying out Vitra's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea Connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder... Well, let her even reach her, though. She's in a cave. Us. What can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Orenvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Amolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal, thus the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling yeah, of an eye. Yeah, said that they're better to him alive. by magical means, these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core and the So it's like when you summon your carbuncle. Doom, thus liberating the captives without harm. So we can hope. And I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances oh, of the defenses excited. remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with, and defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Urianger, Kryon, Yostela, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk, but it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosodora by a considerable margin. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alize knows a healing spell or two, but are we sure Alpha knows in the right group? <laughs> If you're to fight primals, then you'd best have at least one healer with you. And I am more than happy to fulfill that role. 
I found wielding a sage's armament to be rather intuitive and look forward to testing them against a more challenging foe. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging point. Okay, sounds good. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. <laughs> oh, the others. You poor, poor things. Maybe we should give them something to drink on their way, you know, just in case. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be... Oh, will we get to see it? I have a feeling we won't get to see them suffering at the end, uh, once they, uh, teleport over. <sighs> oh well. Oh, come on, are we doing this again? What is with these loading screens? I envy those PS5 players who have it instantly. Okay. Oh, it's actually in the afternoon. Let's, here we go. Let's head to the great work. Yeah, we'll do one. Okay, we're back in Thavnir, and unfortunately we're not going to be able to watch our friends be sick at the end of their trip. So let's see, unless they visited these places without our knowledge, it's going to be Graha, the twins, and Yastola. Oh man. <laughs> I can very easily imagine the twins being sick to their stomach, but I think Yastola is just so stubborn, she's not going to show a hint of sickness. <laughs> she's going to be stubborn about it. But, I mean, Graha might have been there before. I mean, he's never said it, but he's one of the students and they're kind of good friends with the people at Razadhan, or... I don't know. We'll find out. At least I hope we will. Okay, so we're heading back to the hatchery. So we were there before. Where we were with, um... Vashad, or I guess Vitra. <laughs> I love that reveal. That was such a clever reveal. Such sad, gloomy weather. And now it's raining. <laughs> Why am I always coming here and it's bad weather? Might as well enjoy the tower while we can. It's not gonna be there much longer, I'm betting. Does this mean that we'll have to go through each of the towers afterwards? I mean, I don't think we will because it's like the only dungeon, but still. A friend of Eorzea, we've been expecting you. You and yours will lead the mission into the tower, I am told. The warden scale she will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by the boats we have readied. When your fellows arrive, I will direct them to you. We pray for your safety and success. So you're not coming? Typical. So, the boat's right there. You know, I think it'd be really nice if they gave us, like, a real boat. You know, just like a real one. <laughs> I don't know where we put it. Maybe when we do Island Sanctuary, we could put it there. That would be nice. And just, you know, sail around. Kind of like how they have, like, Kingdom Hearts 3, when they you can actually sail around with those pirate ships. I don't know. That's just a thought that popped into my head. <sighs> It 
it's such an eyesore anyway. Oh, if this is the future of etherite travel, I think I'll stick to boats. Oh, he, he was sick. I, no warning, however empathetic, could have prepared me for that. <laughs> On account of which we are a little late, but it's fighting fits, mostly. Well, I'm glad you guys are here anyway. Ah! It's him! My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be a... Uh, should we still call you Vershard, I suppose? Indeed, it would not do to confuse our soldiers. Very well then. For our part, we are humbled that you should see fit to entrust us with your warding scales. Please convey as much to His Excellency. One for each of you. Please accept them with my blessings. Our thanks. With these we can go anywhere those with the blessing of light can go. Not only for this operation either, but all the ones that come. We can finally break your monopoly on primals. Oh, I've been waiting for this day! <laughs> so have we, my friend. So have we. If everyone is amenable to us, let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we'll divide into two groups. Claire and her band will break through the tower's defenses and locate its core. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners, who doubtless want for healing due to the duress of repeated summonings. The primal with which the tower be bringeth forth shall be deities of Thanarian myth. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. So the Mega Sisters, then. We commence the operation at your word, my friend. For the people of Thanir, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Dramatic as always. So, I, I mean, from what I've saw in the trailers, it's definitely the Mega Sisters that we're going to be up against. I don't know if they're going to be like one, two, and three, like for each of the major bosses. I'm guessing that's how it is. I was actually kind of expecting them to be the trial fight. Oh well. The Radiant Host and I will be watching from the outpost, ready to act at the first sign of unusual activity. May the scales serve you well, and protect you in lieu of Vitra's fangs and claws. Ah, So many people! Though our parties are separate, I will trust in you, as I know you will trust in me. <laughs> Let us both give it our all and add another rousing chapter to the saga. Of course! He's so sweet! This is the closest I've ever been to one of the towers. Such a sinister aura, it excuse. It's been a while since last I took to the field, and I can't help but feel nervous. But with everyone at my side, I'm sure all will be well. I mean, are you really a fighter, though? Healing, yes, but fighting, I don't... I'm not sure. Aside from the primals, within the tower we shall, for a certain town encounter, enthralled Imperial soldiers. Defenders conveyed hither by means unknown, who will stop at nothing to hinder our efforts. Least you worry, I've not forgotten my healing spells. That it be restoration or destruction, the sorceress can command whatever magics the situation requires. First this armor, blessed with Retatoska's power, and now Vitra's scale. Much has changed for dragons to for dragons to show me such favor. And with Nidhogg with me in spirit and in hand, no obstacle will bar our way. <laughs> so he, he's the expert on dragons now. Such irony is not lost on me. With the Ishtola keeping them company, the other play party will be able to hold their own against the enemy. 
If we can't tackle our own task without worrying over them, come let us be about it. I have taken up new arms, but my role is unchanged. I am a healer through and through. But in knowing who once wore this sage's mantle, I wonder, when all is said and done, will I look back on the battles I chose to fight with pride? You are too- Don't depress us now, Alfie. My warden scares scale is safely tucked away. I'm ready when you are, Claire. I may not be the Azure Dragoon, former or otherwise, but I guarantee that I'll give as good as I get. Okay. Mm. Right then. It would be a pleasure as always. Oh, he says something different. Let's give it our all. Okay. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> but wait, of course it was gonna be fast. I'm so used to waiting in queue. Oh, so of course we have a party already ready to go. I don't know what's wrong with me. And if you're annoyed that I keep talking to everyone before I go charging in, tough break, deal with it. That's what I like to do. Okay, here we go. Are those the Mega Sisters that look like? Because they didn't look like the Akazadora. Okay, so we're in the creepy, creepy place. Hi, kitty. <laughs> You're such a pain. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to be living off coffee for a while. I'll place this. Let us proceed with caution. Okay, we've got some tempered Imperials. We seek to bar our path. The only way is through. Alright, we're actually doing pretty good progress so far. Oh wait, the others are helping, that's why. Yeah, I see them all right behind us. Okay, so I really have no clue how any of this works or how we're supposed to get fight any of the boss battles today. That's the whole point. You throw caution to the wind, go charging in, and hope it all works out. <laughs> this is the biggest party yet. We should enjoy it while we can. Oh god, poor Nadana. We'll free you from this place, I promise. Oh, that's Nadana, alright. Oh, poor thing! I feel so bad. I hope we can save her. I really do. But until we take out the four, we can't even touch her. I hate these Colossus, they are so stubborn. Okay, let's go up this way. I sense a great surge of ether as if a summoning hath begun. Oh no. Ooh, look, those beastly masks. It's the Munzia, come to life. This is where we do part our ways. We shall survey the halls below. We will focus on sustaining the Arcus Adora. The rest of you must keep going, onwards and upwards. Okay, so we just lost half our group. That's just the four of us. So if I had to guess, I would say that we're gonna have Mindavuda, or let's just call them uh, Sandy, Mindy, and... Cindy. Cindy, Sandy, Mindy, yes. So let's just call them the names that we have them for Final Fantasy X and make it easy. So Mindy's the youngest, so she's probably going to be the first bat, um, badass we're going to be fighting with. And then Sandy, she's the second sister, and then Cindy for the last. If that's the way it does it, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they just throw all three of them for the final boss battle anyway.
but I have no idea what's gonna go on. <laughs> oh, that's the one thing I dread about new dungeons. I have no idea how any mechanics work. Man, these things are stubborn! I mean, I know if I just went in with a regular party, it would probably go a lot faster, but why do we want to rush it? Let's not rush it. Let's have some fun. Afterward, we beat the game, then we can go ahead and do the simple way. First boss, yes, and it does look like it's Mindy. Or Mindaruna, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Probably not. Mind Rubaba. I don't know. <laughs> this is an abomination, a perversion of people's fate. Be gone from our tower! Be gone or become prey for the Magus! Sorry, Mindy, we're not the type to run away and hide. We're not really good at people telling us not to break stuff. Okay. Oh! Watch it. It's one of those times. Behold our ingenious magics! I think she was the goddess for crafts, I think it was? I'm trying to remember what that scroll was about. Okay, what is this? What is this? I have no idea. Okay, that was weird. I'll take it though. Eh, okay, what the heck? What's this? What do I do? I don't remember that before. Come on, come on. Dance! Dance until death claims you! Uh, do we go through that this? I'm guessing. Wait, there's two of them? Which one do I go to? Whoa, whoa, no, no. Oh god, no. What the heck? No. Don't do that to me! That is not fun. Okay. So yes, I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be the god of crafts. And I think Sandy's the one, what was it, the goddess of good fortune, I think? And I think the last one, Cinderuna, Cindy, uh, she's the goddess of, I'm trying to remember, wisdom, I think it was wisdom. I'm pretty sure I'll have to go back and listen to that scroll thing again. So we avoid the orbs. Avoid the orbs, and I think we'll just go to the glowing spectrum here. It's good that we actually have our teammates here because they at least seem to know what's going on. That's why it's a good idea to start a brand new dungeon with the trust if you can, because your NPCs know what the heck they're doing. Okay. You underestimate me. <laughs> those two are. I think those two are gonna get along famously. You underestimate me. They both say the same thing. Almost there. Almost there. I still don't really rightly understand these mechanics, but hey. Oop. I don't care. We did it. We're alive. That's all that matters. I still got hit, but I don't care. You're going down. Oh God. Eliza, you didn't have to waste the limit break. So you have chosen defiance. 
Yeah, it's kind of what we do when she flew away. That's not good. You fought well, Alize. Oh, I was in good company. Oh, you two are. <laughs> you see, they can get along. I think Astinian gets along really well with both of them. He's like the um, the tough older brother who's trying to put his younger siblings in line. Oh God! Look at this place. It's like we're inside some giant mouth. Like, see, we have horrible teeth waiting for us as a gate. Oh, you, you, you! I hate these things. They were once imperial, but we got those weird-ass spikes growing out of them now. Kind of like what we had with Lunar Bahamut. But we're doing good progress. We've beaten the first boss. Just two more to go. Oh, they take forever to fight this way. I'm sure they can, Alfie. The way sh things are shaping up, we're gonna see the three sisters at the end of this whole thing. Like, is this gonna be like the first trial fight or something? And we have like, the three sisters at the end of the dungeon? I mean, that would kind- it kind of adds up a little bit. I, I still think it might be a bit too early, though. So we have like three- the three sisters at the end. We fight them all one by one, and then after the trial fight, they fly off somewhere, kind of lick their wounds, and we find out maybe something a little more about the tower, and then we come back and fight all three of them at once. Kind of what I'm getting. I don't know. I have no idea. You underestimate me. Oh no! Oh, one of those things! I hate those things! <laughs> Why are Garly and toys so ugly? Then again, everything in this tower is ugly. I didn't notice that we have more of them inside the walls here, too. Oh, it's so twisted. I mean, what kind of sick mind comes up with stuff like this? I mean, Fan Daniel, obviously, but what kind of sick mind happened to him? just so nasty. The way it just opened its mouth like it's yawning. Is that enough? There are more gates? How the heck do you find your way around this place? Oh, I think these are new. <laughs> what are they supposed to be? Oh, I guess the remains of some poor Imperials? <laughs> Got more up ahead, but it shouldn't be too much longer until we meet the next boss. So it's either Cindy or Sandy.
couple on. I heard apparently that's supposed. I think there's supposed to be a total of seven dungeons at the moment. So I think it's seven. No wait, there's eight. Yeah, there's eight of them. Okay, so there's eight dungeons in all. So six of them are supposed to be for the main scenario, and two of them are supposed to be extra dungeons. I have no idea what those are about. We got a long way to go. I think the dungeon system is probably the best way to really see like how far you progress in the game. So we're only at the first dungeon, so we're still at the very beginning stages. I think a good way to also be able to judge is to look back at Shadowbringers because that also had six dungeons for the main scenario. So at this point we're fighting our way through Home Minister Switch. So that's like a good idea, like a starting point where we are currently in the game. Okay, so the first trial then should be happening I think in the next area if, that, if they choose to keep the same formula. So the next area, that's, I think we're supposed to be able to unlock the next, um, I think the next dungeon as well as the first trial fight. Okay, so the next boss should be right up here. Yep, here she is, Sandoomba. Or Sandy, as I like to call her. The tower must be protected. We will not let it fall. No, oh, Sidney is probably having a good time. She's a dragoon. <laughs> or a lancer, whatever you call it. You will not steal away our prosperity. Oh, no. Crap, what's that? Moving over here, moving over here. Whoa, no, 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 no! Damn it! I can't move. Why can I not move? What'd you do to me? Ah, oh, I had berserk? No wonder it was going nuts. That's not fair. It's playing dirty. What the heck? That was cool, but what was that? Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Asinian's frozen? Oh no, now I'm frozen! Stop doing that! Temporal displacement. Oh no. Okay, so she targets all of them. She just sort of freezes them in place and strikes. Crap, that's terrible. We hear it. We heed it. The call to defend the tower. Huh? Whoa! Did we just turn into... What the heck? What the heck? What do I do? We just attack them all? Whoa. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know. How did they tell which one was real? I couldn't tell. Would you stop attacking me? Jeez, give me a moment to heal. Oh, thank god. Thank god they decided to give Paladin a healing spell. That's all I can say. Oh, this again. Don't tell me. Okay, Alizy's frozen. Now I'm frozen. We're almost there, come on, 25%. We can still crush her. Oh no! We're the miniatures of her now! It's freaky! Okay, so only one's real, but how do we know which one's real? Oh, wait, I think that one wasn't moving. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Plus, I was able to avoid Berserk, that's nice. Oh, 
I alone cannot expel you. Someone needed more training with the spear. <laughs> oh, Sinian, I love you. I, you see, I knew. I knew he was going to love fighting with another Lancer. It just so happens that she was found wanting, apparently. Alright, so we're reaching the, near the tower summit. The corruption feels stronger here. Aye, the talisman trembles to resist it. Ooh, that might not be good. What happens if the talisman breaks? They'd be screwed! Okay, so we're almost there. They better be holding on to those talismans tightly, like, shove them down their clothes or something. Just keep it on them and make sure it doesn't fall out. Yeah, so arrive at Wisdom's Ward. So that's where Cindy's gonna be waiting for us. How this whole thing goes on afterwards, I do not know. Gunships now. We got gunships. Take on all three of you. I think they made the dungeons now, so instead of getting experience points, at least for the Endwalker dungeon, instead of getting experience points from every single foe that we fought. Uh, it's only after the bosses that you actually get, like, a culmination of their experience. At least I think that's how they described it. Then we can face the final boss. Ugh, it looks like spines or thorns or something. Does not look right. Okay, so we got a giant spider and two colossus is waiting for us. We can do it. Wasn't that like a boss from Alamigo? No, no, wait, that's a, that was a scorpion, sorry. I was just gonna say, it's nice that we're getting old enemies back. They've just been made into trash mobs. Come on. Take the spider. 
spider out first. So I'm guessing that's the core right there. No matter the cost, we must protect the tower. Harbinger's elect, the Mega Sisters. <laughs> I noticed how they said the Mega Sisters. So they didn't say, like, Cinderuna, they said the sister, so we are going to be fighting all three of them. Yay! Mapping the tower! Okay, here we go! Would have we been quicker to fight all three at once? Please don't tempt fate like that! Yeah, fate doesn't like it when you make jokes like that! Can you persist in your desecration? and face the full wrath of the Magus. Oh no! They're here! Join with me, sisters! Insatiable flame, consume our foe! Thanks a lot, Estinian! You just had the tempt fate! Oh no! Oh crap! 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 Hold on! I can't believe we got out of that. Oh no. Oh no. I, I, I don't I don't like this. I really don't like it. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, like, why are they attacking me? But then I remembered I'm the tank, so of course they're going to attack me. Oh my forgetful memory. Join with me, sisters! Thunderous Tempest, smite our foe! Is that like Delta Attack? I swear, if they did the same Delta Attack for Final Fantasy X, I would have lost my mind. That would have been terrifying. first, and then we'll take care of her sisters. Kind of hoping the sisters will be injured from the previous fight. Oh, now what? What are they gonna do now? Insatiable flame. It's the fire one. Oh, that's... it's not fun. No, 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 
No. There's nowhere to stand! Nowhere to stand at all! Crap. No. Oop. This is not good for my blood pressure! Okay, so we'll take care of Cindy first, and then we'll take care of Sandy, and we'll leave Mindy for the last, because she's not... I don't know. She seems the most harmless. One down, two to go! Cindy's more than halfway to standing more than halfway down. They're going for Mindy now. Okay, fine. I don't know. I think their bug insect like form from Ten, ten were better. That's just to me though. I think they should have made them a little bit more bug like. Okay, now just you, Sandy. Oh no. No, 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 not this again. No! <laughs> I don't like Berserk. I don't care. You're almost down. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, the level up! Thank God! <sighs> Boy. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so tired now. Why are you sad, Claire? We won! We beat them! Now we have a chance to save everyone! You should be happy now! I'm so tired of those sad looks! I remember back when she was still starting off, you were so happy whenever you beat a dungeon. What I can tell the summoning appears to be over. No belief is sacred to the Talaferoi. They were nimble, nimble fighters, I'll give them that. That seems to be the limit of the tower's defenses. Okay, let's get out. Uh, weapon. Ah, I can look at that. Alright, let's go. Okay, cutscene time. Let's see what they can do to, about the tower. We're gonna be able to bring it down. What do you think, Kitty? Yeah, I know you can't see her, but she's just sitting there chilling right next to me. I think we came to an understanding, yeah. <laughs> she's just being so cute. <laughs> I'm a proud mom, in case you couldn't tell. Oh, hello. Is everyone all right? We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. The lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. That was Quagmire, oh well. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. This is the core we seek. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. Hence my anima theory. It is as theory. if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Ooh. I don't like that. That's creepy noise. Curious. There is something there embedded inside the core. What is it? A man's limb. What? Ew! This is what, what we're going to destroy? Yes, if you'll be so kind. <laughs> that, that was easy. Okay, thank you, Estinian. <laughs> Neither was the reason we brought you along. <laughs> and not just because of fanfare. 
It's all right. Can we go and home? That should be the end of it. Of course. Of course it was not going to be that easy. What now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. <laughs> he says that so calmly. And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Yeah, I think that's the point. <laughs> Below. The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. Okay, there's gonna be a rough landing. Oh, Graha, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm not too late. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, please, please, no, don't do something stupid, Graha. Like, please, we don't want you turning the crystal again. That's a lot of people. Oh my god, look how many there are! Oh, what happened? Where are we? By my reckoning. We're still on the island where the tower stood, but it is as if it never existed. <sighs> Hardly a scratch, but how? Oh no. Oh no, what's wrong? Oh, I think he's just sleeping. He better just be sleeping. Otherwise I'd kill him. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. <laughs> wow. <sighs> that explains the lack of obvious injuries. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what we would have done if we lost him that early. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. It's okay. We've got a cure. That's what matters. Angelo and I will take care of that. Mm -hmm. I have every faith in you, Alizé. But there are just too many for you to treat alone. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porxies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? I think it's pretty obvious they took the care of your problems. Banished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Aww. That's gonna be a big job. They're so big. <laughs> so many. Oh. Oh, Adana. Oh, I hope she'll be okay. I really liked her. Hello, thank you. How is everyone? Oh, and it's nice weather again. Yay, thank you. I've been running around all night. Hello. I can't move. There we go. Liberated prisoners are being transported to Razat Han for treatment. 
Alize and Yastola will receive the administration of the tempering treatment with support from those who know a healing spell or two. We'll go and join them in the city once you had a moment to catch your breath. Oh boy! That's nice! <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so we can now go into the Tower of Zot. Alright, so the next quest, the Jewel of Thannar, but I think that's going to be it for right now. Yeah, running a dungeon always makes me tired. So we're going to save the Aftermath for next time. I hope you're all looking forward to it. Uh, that was that wasn't what I was expecting. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but hey, I mean, we got one dungeon down, only five to go before we reach the end of the game. And now that I... And through the first dungeon, I'm really sad because I don't want the story to end. On one hand, I want it to end because I know how it happens, but I really don't want to say goodbye. Like, I'm scared of what this means. Like, are the Scions going to break apart? Are we going to lose somebody? Are we never going to see them again? Are we going to be getting brand new characters, like a whole new Scion group by the next expansion? I hope not. Like, I don't mind if some of them go into retirement early on and we can still see them once in a while, but I hope they don't replace everyone. That's my big hope. But anyway, that's it for right now. I hope you enjoyed my first run-through of the Tower of Zot. So once again, this is Fantasy Girl signing out.